So you're thinking about wanting to platinum Among Us. First of all, dear god, why? And second of all, welcome to Platinum Trophy Review, or PTR for short. Here I go over some of the trophies you will encounter and at the end give my review if this game is worth your platinum time or not. So put on your spacesuit, avoid electrical at all costs and remember, in space no one can hear you scream as we vote out and eject this week's game Among Us. But what is Among Us? Well, Among Us is a 2018 online multiplayer social deduction game developed and published by an American game studio in a sloth. The game was inspired by the party game Mafia and the science fiction horror film The Thing. The game allows for cross-platform play. It was released on iOS and Android devices in June 2018 and on the PlayStation 4 and 5 in December 2021. Among Us has a total of 34 trophies, 6 gold, 15 silver, 12 bronze and of course one platinum trophy. Before we begin, if you plan to do the solo, be ready for the long haul as the trophy list is extreme RNG related and the last trophy I will mention will have you pulling out your hair. If you can get a group of at least 5 friends to boost some of these trophies, you'll have a much better and fun time. Also, I would suggest all your games being done on the OG map Skeld. With that said, let's continue. There are 3 trophies associated with doing tasks. Intern, complete 10 tasks. Manager, complete 100 tasks. And Taskmaster, complete the grand total of 500 tasks. Now, though a grind, this is very doable. The best way would be to host a game and set one long task, one common task, and five short tasks. There are trophies for winning three games on Skeld, Mirror, Polis, and Airship. This can be achieved either as a crewmate or imposter. Well-oiled machine is to win a game by completing all tasks as crewmates. Again, host a game, set all tasks to the bare minimum and imposter kill time high. It's cheesy, but necessary. Survivor, survive and win a game as a crewmate. For imposters, there are a few trophies for how you go about winning a game. Slasher, win a game by killing all crewmates as imposter. Smooth talker, win a game by vote as imposter. Never suspect a thing, win a two imposter game with both imposters alive at the end and saboteur. Win a game by sabotaging a critical system. This could be either the reactor core or oxygen of the ship. The best way to go around doing this is to thin out the numbers of the crewmates and then sabotage the oxygen. Stand next to the panel as if you are trying to fix it and if you see someone come in and is by themselves, go for the kill. Impossible task. Complete the card swipe task on your first try. Now this is easier said than done. First you need the luck of getting that task when in game and second is doing it first try. However, if you lift the card by pushing up on the right analog stick and then rotating at a decent speed the left analog stick, with practice you'll get the hang of it very quickly. Lights out. Get a kill during a light sabotage. Watch me scan. Get killed during a med bay scan. Crew poster. Fix a sabotage that you called. Circumventor. Win a game without using the vents as imposter. Sherlock. Win a game as crew with your only votes being for the imposter. And the last two trophies which will make you pull out your hair. Hunger. Get three kills before a meeting is called and scrouge. Get 150 kills. Note, there are three trophies in total for achieving kills. Killer is for five kills and assassin is for getting 50 kills. 
By this time, you will have realized that getting to be the imposter is no easy task and is extremely RNG based. So what would be the best way to go about getting this if you're flying solo? Well, for hunger, host games of 10 with two imposters. Put kill cooldown time to 10 seconds and hope you get imposter and can somehow change three kills together before the bodies are discovered. For getting kills in general, jump into games of 10 with two imposters and pray to RNG Jesus you get imposter. If not, then leave. You can leave a maximum of three games before you start to get time banned from joining games. However, there is a workaround to the time ban though. Once banned, just close an open game and the ban will be gone. You're welcome. When all the stalking, backstabbing and shapeshifting is complete, you should be the proud owner of an ultra rare 0.6% platinum trophy. But is Among Us worth the space journey? Among Us is an absolute blast when you're in the mix with your friends. The trophies add this extra layer of fun challenges to tackle together, making the whole experience a roller coaster of laughter, suspicion, and teamwork. Imagine the scene you and your friends zipping around the map doing tasks, tossing around accusations, and just reveling in the delightful chaos. The social dynamics amp up the excitement, making every victory, every deduction, and every betrayal a shared moment of glory. But let's talk about the solo pursuit of these trophies. It is a whole different vibe. Those tasks that bring a chuckle with friends, they turn into a bit of a routine when you're flying solo. And dealing with the sneaky imposter, it becomes more of a solitary game of cat and mouse, testing your patience more than your sleuthing skills. Playing Among Us with friends is like hitting the jackpot. It's about those unforgettable moments when you accuse the wrong person, or better yet, when you pinpoint the sneaky imposter. But when you're on a solo mission for those trophies, it's like missing out on the action. Sure, there's a sense of accomplishment when you finally bag those trophies, but it lacks the electrifying buzz and shared excitement that comes from teaming up with your buddies. To sum it up, Among Us is all about the social experience. The trophies feel like mini adventures that are twice as fun when tackled with friends. Going it alone for those trophies, it's a bit of a slower ride. It's doable, but it's missing that spark that turns the game into an absolute party. For when playing solo, progression grinds to a complete halt, as there is no doubt that the final trophy you will need to achieve is to get 150 kills and the RNG will be 9 out of 10 times against you. It is a long and tedious road to grind, but if you have the patience, and more importantly, the willpower, it can be achieved. Among Us Platinum Trophy is a 5 out of 10. Thanks everyone for watching and making it this far in the video. There are more videos like this on my channel, so please have a look. Once again, thank you for making this far and watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. PTR out.